What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Poor Man Mods. Today I'm going to show you how to rebuild a Brembo brake caliper. Now these are 2000 Mercedes S500 brake calipers that I'm putting on my 1988 Toyota Supra and it's actually a direct bolt on upgrade so uh, I got these for really really cheap actually off eBay I got both of them for a combined total of $90 yes $90 for two Brembo brake calipers and uh, if this is a direct bolt on for the Supra, this should also be a direct bolt on for people who can do Mustang Cobra brakes because Cobra brakes bolt on to the Supra. So if Cobra brakes work on your car, these Mercedes calipers with 350Z rotors should also work on your car and they're a hell of a lot cheaper than the Cobra brakes. So with that being said, um, I have a non-rebuilt black one that isn't powder coated either. I'm going to show you how to take that caliper apart and once it's completely apart with this one I'm going to show you how to install all the new seals, pistons, and whatnot. So I'm going to show you how to tear apart the caliper using my black one that's not even touched yet and then with this one that's already been put back together and powder coated I will show you how to install the new seals and dust boots so let's get to it. Okay now we're going to start the disassembly of this caliper. I'm going to completely disassemble this because I'm powder coating it but I'm pretty sure you don't need to take it all the way apart to do the seals and dust boots. It will make it easier to do that, but I'm taking all of this apart just because I'm powder coating it. And brake fluid will go everywhere when you do this. These old, disgusting, shitty pads. Now this is the hard part. I don't know. At least it was on the other caliper. I don't know if they use, like, an anti-seize... What the fuck is that? There's a rubber thing in these pistons? What the fuck is that? It fell out. I'm kind of scared. I'm terrified right now. But anyway, when I try to take these bolts off the other caliper, I needed to put a wrench on this Allen key because it was so freaking tight. And on the bolts that are facing the front, I will be replacing them with these nice chrome bolts to make it look all nice and purdy. And this comes right off, and there is part of your caliper. Now save these. Make sure you don't lose these. There are these also very tiny o-rings right here and right here. You need to remove them and save them. Well, only remove them if you're powder coating all this. And I don't know if you can get replacements for these, so if you lose them, I don't know what you're going to do. Because they're kind of special. They're not just regular 
They're not regular O-rings. You need to keep these. And now we'll flip this over and do the same exact thing. You're probably wondering how do you get the pistons out. Well, some people use compressed air, but I don't have really powerful air right here. What the hell is this stuff? I've never seen this. It's like from Alien. What the fuck is that? Look at this. What the hell is that? That is straight out of the movie Alien. What the shit balls. What the fuck is that? I'm not keeping that. Am I gonna die? I'm dead. I'm so dead. To get all these out, basically you just destroy the seal. There should be a notch somewhere to where you can get under the seal. And pull it out. And this one actually didn't rip, but when I did the other one, every single dust boot ripped. And I'm not sure what the preferred method to remove these pistons without compressed air is, but I use two pry bars. Just be careful not to break the piston. If you do, I'm not sure if you can buy a replacement, but these calipers are so cheap. It doesn't, like, if these calipers are so cheap, even if you break the piston, you can just buy another caliper. Here we go, I found a set of snap ring pliers. Look at that. Now don't forget to get your seal out. And don't get brake fluid in your eye either. That is how you completely disassemble a Brembo brake caliber. And now with my kind of powder coated red one, I will show you how to put it all back together. Okay, so to install the new stuff, you need brake fluid. So, we are going to pour brake fluid in this paint cap. I'm using this because brake fluid is pretty nasty stuff and whatever you pour it in it's probably going to ruin it so I don't want to ruin a nice cup or anything. Here is our seal kit. This is a factory replacement seal kit. Now these are Mercedes S500 brake calipers so I just bought the replace or so I just bought the rebuild kit for the S500. I didn't go to Brembo for this. And First thing that you do, you can see there are two different things in this package. This is the dust boot and this is the seal. Okay, so for this piston, there's actually two different sized ones. The t this one over here is bigger than this one. So you have to get the correct piston and seal and dust boot for that one. This one is the bigger one, so we're gonna do that first. Get the big one all lubed up.
And I'll take your big piston with the dust boot. Make sure the dust boot is seated. And then press the dust boot into its groove. And now we take the little piston with the little seal and do the same exact thing. Lube up the seal and then you can set it in this groove right there. Lube up the little piston. Take your little dust boot. Put it on the piston. Slide the piston in. And now we can flip the caliper over and do the same thing to the other two. All right guys, so there you go. That's how you rebuild a Brembo brake caliper. It's kind of easy. Um, the parts are pretty cheap, but it's pretty messy. The brake flow gets everywhere. Grease and grime gets everywhere. You don't have to take it completely apart like I did. You can leave it just like this. I don't believe you have to take it apart. I just did it because I kind of powder coated it. I didn't sandblast it, so it didn't turn out the best, but uh, it's more red than it is black, so that's all that matters. So, that's how you rebuild a Brembo brake caliper. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something, and I will see you guys next time.